home with a bunch of kids, about 20, 21, 19, and, and nobody knew what the hell war was at that time, but now I know. There isn't a day that doesn't go by that I don't think of these things, you know, the, the things that, that, at least what I went through. I thought it was my duty. I've always been proud of the uniform I wore, the, the boys that I served with. Well, the proudest moment in your life of being an American is in a, in a spot like that. I was very proud. When we went over, I looked down and saw the beach of France. And before it got very much further, I started seeing flag coming up at the plane. The whole sky was filled with airplanes just about every way you could look. I was about 14 miles from my drop zone. Scariest thing that ever happened to me in my life. We lost a lot of people out there. A lot of good people. You felt real bad when you see one of your own dead. It's pretty hard to take it. i tell you the truth, if I almost thought we wasn't even going to make it. I couldn't find any of the crew that I was attached to. I found out later that they were all killed. experience that I knew would probably be the most important thing I did in my the entire life. I, I was just proud to be there. It was something that very hard to forget. All the French people that I met thought that we uh, were gifts from God that came and helped them. I'm not the hero. I'm just a survivor. The heroes, most of the heroes, over there under the white crosses. It was awful, uh, and these are things that, you, that I will never forget. A hero, what, what does it mean, a hero? Can you tell me just because he did something which is very important and I had a job to do, and I did it. But I'm not a hero. I wouldn't call myself a hero. I'm just glad I could be part of it and come home safe.